Howdy y'all, Professor Parks, PhD here, and welcome. Uh, hey, look at me, I'm actually doing a mental health update on Monday, like I've been wanting to do. Um, I really, really need to lose weight, I fucking look like Mitch McConnell up in here. Um, Alright, hopefully the... Uh, let's see, audio settings, yeah, hopefully you all can hear me, anyway. Um, first thing I want to address, actually, uh, that I thought about on the walk over here, uh, is that. Um, so, a few people have commented as to why I have my pronouns. And, you know, um, shouldn't it be fairly obvious? <laughs> uh, I suppose so. But, honestly, uh, if you're asking, it really has nothing to do with you. Um, the reason why I put them there is because of the trans community. Regardless of how you feel personally about the trans community, whether, yeah, regardless of how you feel, it is a fact that people in that community are suffering. They, um, they suffer emotionally to the, from the, because of the situation that they, they find themselves in, the persecution, the isolation the misinformation, and that suffering can lead for them to elect to, you know, check out. Why I put my pronouns is because I want them to know that I see them, that I, I don't understand, but that they're not alone, that I, that they are not I don't want them to feel isolated. I want them to feel seen, is essentially what I was. I don't know if it will help. I, I don't know. I do it because I'm hoping it does. In some small way, I'm hoping that if someone sees that, who is in that community, that will make their day suck just a little less, even if, if only for a moment. Anyway, speaking of suck, um, so this weekend, I fell into a, a well uh, emotionally. Uh, for those of you, yeah, I, use that, I use the well as a metaphor for, for depression. And um, I didn't fall too far. I fell deep enough um, that I'm still crawling my way out of it. Um, uh, and, you know, and I trying to figure out how the fuck am I going to get out of it again, you know, this time around. Uh, and what are the coping mechanisms or what have you that are going to pull me out? Because in a way, in the past, when I've been like this, it's been fear. Basically fear of some kind of employment repercussion or something else, mainly employment repercussion, uh, that I need to, you know, I need to get up or something bad is going to happen to me. This time around, I decided to be a little bit more proactive. And one of the things that I learned in therapy uh, was do what you can. I used to beat the ever-living fuck out of myself um, for not doing what I was supposed to do. You know, I had this to-do list, all that, but it went further than that because... I would look at a to-do list. I would look at, no matter how large that to-do list was, I had this expectation that I can tackle that. And I should be able to clear that every time. Because, you know, I'm the Rob, and I'm supposed to. And when I didn't, because it never happens, uh, I would beat myself up, you know, call myself failure, yada, yada, all that kind of good stuff. You know, which would be completely counterproductive to actually doing what it is that sent me down that road, which is completing the damn to-do list. I realized how counterproductive it was, and but I didn't care. Uh, all I cared about was the fact that I wasn't doing what I was supposed to be doing. And it took me, still takes me, but it took me a very, very, very long time to finally come to the terms with myself, come to terms with the idea that 
if I was going to have a, a, a productive life, if I was going to have you know, contented life, I guess, but really productive. I mean, if the, the whole thing is I want to be able to do what I set myself out to do, what I say that I'm going to do, if I want to achieve that goal, then there's something that I need to 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 do, and which is realize that this should have business, I should have been able to do this, is not tenable. It doesn't work. Taking on, continually taking on more and more work and expecting yourself to do it is unreasonable, particularly given all of our, given my limitations. We all have limitations. And so it was a combination of, all right, this is what I need to get knock off the whole should business. Uh, there is no expectation. There is a desire. That there is no expectation. There are things that I want to get accomplished, but there is nothing that I am expected to get accomplished. The other thing was um, realizing my own limitations. Realizing, hey, you can't do this, this, and this, and this. And sometimes you can't even do this. And, uh, sometimes you can't even get out of bed. Um, and so, how do I deal with that? How do I, how do I combat the negative feelings for not being able to get out of bed or get out of bed and just spending all day playing cyberpunk? Uh, how do I deal with those feelings? And how do I move past them? How do I move to a stage where I can be productive? And the thing that I have come to accept is, uh, or the technique that I, is do what I can really relies heavily on that first part, that there is no expectation that I need to do something. <laughs> My head is already the, you know, what about, you know, your work has expectations, right? Yes, yes, it does. There are obviously deadlines that I need to meet. There are uh, responsibilities that I have. But I also have a responsibility to myself, to my health, and I realize that pushing myself too hard, which I have been doing fairly recently, is counterproductive. Beating myself out, beating myself to a pulp because I didn't do what I think I'm expected to do really doesn't help get me where I want to be. So I, I have to silence that voice. I have to put that voice aside and say, listen, Doing something is better than doing nothing. And I need to be kind enough to realize I'm doing what I can. I am genuinely putting in the effort. I am genuinely trying to be better. So, yeah, there, this weekend I had lots of, I still have lots of things I want to do. There's a video that I recorded a couple weeks ago on the, uh, the uh, Copernican principle that I that I have recorded, I just need to edit the damn thing. Uh, and so, yeah, there's lots of there's content that I want to put out. There's just a tremendous amount of work that I need to do, uh, lectures, grading, all that kind of good stuff. Um, but I, I just have to accept what I can and cannot do given the realities of my life. Um, I, this is my way of trying to take responsibility for what's going on. You know, in my head, I'm like, I'm, it's like, you're making excuses. Um, you're just not up to it. Um, just man up, dude. All of these. I, um, yeah, I don't want to get too far into that. Um, you know, those voices are still there. They're always there. Um, and I just have to, for those voices, my best, my best um, strategy is pragmatism. You know, I was born, by, born, or I was raised by Midwesterners, or at least they consider themselves Midwestern. They, uh, they were, their families from Southern Illinois. And if anything, they're pragmatic. If it don't work, don't use it. So, my previous modes of thought, my previous modes of behavior don't work, so I can't use them. So these voices telling me all of this stuff, it hasn't worked in the past, so 
uh, you are no longer useful to me. I don't know. I, I'm hoping that something somebody can relate to that is that you know I when I'm confronted with being in that dark place and and in in return in terms of trying to get myself back, um, I just do what I can. And I place no judgment as to whether or not it's enough. Because ultimately, if there is a judgment, it's enough if it gets me to where I want to go. If it gets me out of bed, if it gets me into the office, if it gets me to get work done, then it is enough. So, all right. Uh, thanks for watching this far. Uh, I, I hope to... I hope to put out that, get that video edited and on that, on my channel soon. I probably won't have it until at least Wednesday. Uh, there are a couple other things that I want to, some old videos, uh, some old talks that I've given that I want to uh, put up there. And there's a couple of conversations with um, Globe Skeptics uh, that I want to put up there. One, the first one I ever did with Alan, or now he's, he goes by Space Audience. Uh, I want to put that up there. So, yeah. Anyway, um, hope you're all safe. Peace out and clear skies. How do I...